Welcome back to Sunless Sea, where we've just landed at the Empire of Hands, so let's get going. The delightful adventuress leans over the rail of the ship, sniffing the humid air with evident distaste. What's a filthy, damp little place? Oh well, we shall endure. At the sight of the mayor hobbling up, she straightens. A thin, insincere smile spreads across her face. Ah, you there, my good primitive, she calls striding down the ramp and clasping his arm tight. Now then, I come in search of your first emperor's vault, and for that I shall be needing a few things. Some of your finest workers, and tools, and some food. Do you understand me? She shakes her head barely, waiting for a response. F-O-O-D, she repeats. Comprendes? Oh dear. I see we shall be here for a while. Listen, I hear your fellows rather like souls. Shall we discuss that like higher primitives? Payment for the journey. Barnabas stays to settle up while his mistress negotiates the value of her soul with the mayor. A man with no face. Barnabas removes his mask with what looks to be a silent moment of great relief. Underneath is nothing, just a flat surface where his face should have been. Ah, an unfinished clay man, one of those flawed products of polythrine that follow their own rules. If only you'd known that before he boarded. Of course, that's why the adventurous never mentioned it. He silently presents you with your agreed fee dips his head in polite bow and lumbers back to his mistress. It appears she has struck a deal with the mayor. The delightful adventuress will establish a base camp on Fountainhead Island. She welcomes your assistance as one who has proven to be not entirely useless. 200 echoes. And more is happening on the island. So I were probably not... Uh, I don't think we have... We can compile our port report. Now that the Albert has been brought up to date, this will be far quicker. Unfortunately, also less profitable. Just a standard one. Zeppelin. Still turned away. Strategic information. This will give you an intriguing snippet if you can penetrate the court. You may be able to do better. Let's just take the intriguing sni uh, snippet and the Z story. Uh, and the audience. Is there anything new we could do with him? I'm not selling my soul. Acquire supplies. I think we're good. Shore leave seems like a bad idea. This island. So let's go to uh, Fountainhead. Splash, splash, splash. The sound of the oars would almost always be hypnotic if your arms weren't burning so hard to the effort. Visit the adventuress's camp with a small army of monkeys brought. But with her soul, she excavates the vault of the first emperor. Through the forest is thick and forgiving. A gift for the monkey emperor. The delightful adventuress has already uncovered and put aside many treasures. A small statue amongst them looks particularly interesting. Nobody's watching. At least you don't think so. It is hard to tell with Barnaby's blank face giving nothing away. Can he see? He seems to be able to. Somehow. In any event, he makes no move to raise an alarm as you take the small trinket. Let's speak with her. Oh, it's you, of course. Help me with these blasted maps, would you? The monkeys are quite clueless. She shakes her head. They claim our souls uplift them, but if you ask me, it's just a case of monkey see, monkey do. Can you believe they think that Zeppelin of theirs will let them create a new empire? Wait, you there. Take that out of your mouth this very second. So something about maps. Let's go to the vault. A not-so-ancient edifice. It may look centuries old, but this entryway is relatively new. The monkeys can never leave alone, always adding bits as their whims demand. This tribute to the Empire's first and greatest has been constructed over generations by monkeys working with stolen ideas of what an ancient tomb should be. Outside the vault, the delightful adventuress flits back and forth between her base camp and the vault entrance. There are other parts of the Empire fans to explore outside the vault. To rush, darling, is to court tragedy. The delightful adventuress pays barely any attention to you as she prepares. She is not yet ready to open the vault. You should return later when she has had a chance to organize her monkey workers. This may take a while. Okay, so that's that. And the other option is leave her to her work. That Zeppelin could be an opportunity. Perhaps someone in the court, Sovereign Island would be able to point you in the right direction. Okay, a hint. Ooh, a treasure hunt. We have a treasure map. So let's go to, I think, Sovereign Island. 
Oh, we can gain access to the court with the gift. The gates are guarded by two armored monkeys that would look adorable if not for the blood on their bayonets. Humans are not welcome without an invitation or a worthy gift for the Emperor. The Wild Wild Court. The stench should heat as the gates open are a sucker punch to your senses. Inside the stagnant air of the windowless wood palace hangs with s sweat and tastes of hair. Everything is filthy and every surface used. The ape is as likely to swing across the roof as walk the floors. In prized oasis of relative calm, the high-souled conduct themselves with the poise of high-born lords and ladies. Around them, their barely uplifted lessers scamper around exhausted, taking orders and cruelties from all who care to dispense them. In the middle are countless more, a sea of apes longing for advancement and fighting for what they have with tooth claw and low cunning. Right. Emperor Crispin IV holds court in the heart of his palace. None may speak without permission, but the voice of the emperor is still the least heard of all. To step into the, his throne room is to step into another world, a polished one of cool and blessed quiet that already feels as alien as it is pleasant. The emperor sits on his throne wrapped in robes of violet and wearing an ornate golden mask. He remains motionless, silent. He could be mistaken for a statue, if not for an almost imperceptible nod to grant his sensual permission to speak in his name. She approaches, arms folded in the red-trimmed yellow robes of a court mandarin. Her expression is carefully blank, the chestnut hair on her face powdered alabaster white and decorated with exquisite detail in red and black. The rings on her fingers mark her as a ten-souled ape, a status even the Admiralty can respect. She bows before you, a complicated ritual displays of sweeping sleeves that somehow never breaks eye contact. Finished, she waits for your response. I can return the bow. I'm fucked. I can curtsy. Doesn't matter. Remain still. You will not demean yourself before mere monkeys. We will attempt to bow. You a flicker of disapproval. Did you do something wrong? It appears so. But that as it may, there is no bu there's business to discuss. So a quality change. The Great Exodus. The exquisite Sen shall request your assistance to supply the Empire of Han's great work, a zeppelin that will take them to a new home far away from here. Materials for the journey. You point out that the Admiralty has the Empire of Han's both under embargo and quarantined. The only thing worse to be caught doing here than supplying them would help would helping them escape their confinement. Have your people not already caused us enough pain, she demands? We starve, and you would prevent us being fed. We thirst to explore, and you cage us like animals. Why? For what fine purpose? What threat are we to you, who happily dine with devils? She sicks her head, almost with pity. What could you possibly see in us that shames you so? Heart of the palace, none may... Okay, accept the commission. You will help the apes. The monkeys must remain here as the admiralty decreed. Eh, let's accept the commission. The emperor bows again, deeper. With a pair of servants... To row the boat, she takes you to the Zeppelin site in Port Stanton. It was originally to the project of a traveler from afar hoping to travel east, who encountered an accident. In his plans and engine, however, the monkeys saw their opportunity. The great exodus will require supplies and fuel, of course, explains the exquisite Sen Ishal. We also seek souls to uplift our brethren that they may join the work. You will, of course, be reasonably compensated for your expenses and rewarded upon completion. See, she also hints that there may be faster ways to complete the Zeppelin. Say more, though, would require a level of trust you have not yet earned. Build status by supplying the Zeppelin. Okay, we've gained five status. Unlock supplies no more than 99. Unlock with five supplies. So you will give them five supplies at a time. Or five fuel. Ten fuel. Yeah, I certainly don't have even the ability to carry that to them in any meaningful way. Does the mayor have anything new? Nope. The Zeppelin... When it's complete... Oh, so it needs 100 fuel, 100 souls, and 100 supplies. That's a lot.
in the meantime, can we get back to the fountainhead? See what the adventuress has going for her. Let's have a speak. Oh, it's you. She shakes her head. Take that out of your mouth. And the vault. Outside the vault. Ah, uh, you here. Do pick up a crowbar. There, there's a deer. Bit of elbow grease should do it. Consults papers while her clay man and a small crew of hardworking ladies tried to force open the door. Right, on the count of three, muscles, human and primitive alike, strain as the delightful adventurous harries everyone along. Finally, with a crack and a screech of triumph and exhaustion, the doors slide open. Inside, it's just blackness. There, now chop chop, everybody, declares the adventurous, striding into the dark with a personal glim lantern. Behind her, her monkeys collapse to the ground, g gasping, occasionally stolen words and squeals of protest escaping to the air. Enter the vault. One Foxfire Candle. Good. These are coming in handy. Glen Lantern, you'll need Foxfire Candles? Okay. At the bottom of the stairs is a room with a sealed stone door. In front of that stands a pointedly placed plinth holding three thin pillars and some stone discs. The delightful adventurous rolls her eyes. A trial of the mind, it appears. How very adorable. It appears that our monkey friends... Ancestors have absorbed more than a few souls with a passion for things like pulp. Oh well, that should make things interesting. She slaps your shoulder. Do the honors, Cap Capitano. Uh-oh. Solve the... Oh, I'm 100%. Three poles, stone discs. Oh, please. The Tower of Hanoi puzzle. That little children's game that has been amusing London in recent years. This ant chamber must be a more recent addition to the vault than it looks if even the monkeys have bought into its legend. Ah, a minor problem suddenly reveals itself. Well, I see that you have this under control, declares the adventuress, heading back upstairs. I leave it to your evidently very capable hands. I already did it. Oh, continue solving the puzzle. They cannot be serious about this, surely. This tribute to the first and greatest has been constructed over generations by monkeys working with stolen ideas. Well, let's, let's do it. One move at a time. If you keep this up, you should be done in just time to see the sixth city. The adventurers are not the only treasure hunters in the Empire of Hands. Another may have supplies that you both lack. Let's continue solving the puzzle. Why not? Oh, wait. Unlock the Empire of Hands Tower of Hanai moves. Wait. Remaining two. You have 3,000 something. If you keep this up, you should be... You've lost one Tower of Hanoi moves remaining. Oh, is it? Is it? Is this just going to keep going on? Three two seven six four, three two seven six three. Okay, so you can just click this all day, and technically beat it that way. That sounds miserable, though. Let's go to the other islands. Don't need the court. The village. Lost treasure hunter. He joined the pirates to see the sea. Now he just hopes to one day see something he recognizes. We could become injured. Join a raid on the Empire of Hands. Not tough enough. Let's check this out. Ahoy! How goes your search? Find anything? It is a voice that so badly wants to answer to be no. We can trade supplies for candles, trade recent news for dynamite, trade a live specimen for a flare, stories, yeah, nothing I can do there, dine at the captain's table, that sounds like a bad idea, all these are bad ideas, village, fountainhead, the isthmus, wake stretches out, monkey foundling hut, Chased away, the two petticoat apes attack, snarling and hissing. Their raw ferocity forces a retreat. They do not follow and press the advantage. Once you are through the trees, the chase ends. Peering through the foliage, you see them quietly return to their strange vigil. They do not seem to be here right now. So the hut. So the hut is just like... So that's not going anywhere. Anything I can do at the court... A visitor in court, the silent gallery. 
Chandler of Souls. Your rising status in the court has inspired assorted parties to inquire about your willingness to meet. Trust is not covertly virtue. Or be pleased to act as your intermediary to ensure fair play on both sides of the transaction. Sell to the mayor of Port Stanton. The mayor can offer 100 percent of echoes. This you will. He will have the five souls needed to petition for membership of the court. Sell to the ambitious page. 400 sell to the veiled concubine. High sold apes prize quality over quantity, seeking beneficial spiritual alchemy. The chandler lacks the finesse. Shows you this isn't a problem, so we can sell our soul for higher and higher. Sell to a baronet. Not for now. The exquisite Sencha coordinates the great exodus. You are granted permission to enter. The silence is a pleasant slap to the face. Sweetly scented with incense, inside the exquisite Sencha deals with many demands and complaints of the court. Report the completion, a plan, supplies, plan fuel, return to the court, a visitor in the court, I could just do that, cartographer with uncommon fervor to create a compiled map for the court. A creator of maps, the cartographer painstakingly draws one of the empire's islands onto parchment treated to look ancient. He examines his art freely, glad for a moment's recognition. Since the quarantine and trade embargo, the Empire's best way to lure visitors has been to seed the Undersea with tales of lost treasure. Maps, primarily just cryptic enough that they feel like they have achieved something by their search. Then, while they poke about in the forest, both their souls and ships are... He stops. He said too much. Is there treasure buried, though? Oh yes, almost, snaps, continuing to incur code a series of directions into a recipe of some sort. If word spread that there was not, why would you fools continue to brave the voyage? You've gained five Z stories? That's nice. Um, nothing awaits you? Can I do this again? Mob of monkeys just getting around is almost impossible. So that doesn't work. They have gifts of a certain nature. 10, raised by trading, supplying the Zeppelin, or I'm using Fickle Pentacote. Okay. I've been to there. Let me go back to the Fountainhead, see if anything new's happened. I don't have a way to solve this yet. Let us consult. I would say, darling, that if the monkeys are not going to play fair, then there's no reason we should do any different. She taps the table for a moment. It is, after all, not solving that little toy that matters, but getting through the door. Ah, the dynamite. Let me see what I need to get dynamite. Treasure hunter. I need a... I need just recent news. So I just need to hold on to recent news, and I can come back and be just fine. I've got I've got seven. That's enough to get me out of here for the most part. And somewhere, uh, maybe I should head to the Shalinate on my way to the Mount Palmerson. That feels good to me. So we'll just leave our lovely adventurous. Have I discovered this? Uh oh. This is not the fight I wanted. We might have to hit the full power if he comes for us. I think he's going to chase. But I hope we have enough of a lead on him. His Ford guns may reach. No. He's not chasing. We're good. So many supplies. Oh, discovered. Sashtown. Oh, there's like a little one.
Yeah, if we had the stores, I think we can pick up an outlandish artifact here. Ah, uh, Restless Nights, and the Watch of the Night you pet softly past. Yeah, I don't have the pages to mess with that. The Chronicler. Got the trophy. And at least one of those, so... We've got an outlandish artifact, which will be worth 100 back home. Get our port report. 30% chance for shore leave to not screw over. Get a diamond for that. Well, we can't... Oh, wait, I have my notes here. I purchased the sapphires for 86. So that would be a profit. Let's do it. So I could stock up on these if I'm making this trip. All right, let's get out of here. There was nothing to buy fuel-wise. Got five. I think I have some coffee still. I don't know if it's... Oh, I have a horn. I was trying to go to my hold. So I ha that's I need five copy to do any damage. I could just... No, I'm holding this because there's a quest that needs the coffee, if I remember right, and I think it needs two. So let us... Five. I don't know if they have fuel. Hmm. I think they will give us a little fuel, but that's like... Get a couple fuel over there, that's... If I hit these up, that's a way more efficient path. So, to Khan's shadow. Let's go over the top. And I believe I have a secret to spend. Prove the veils. Wonderful. I believe we will be going by Gator's Morn on the return trip, so we can hopefully gather a port report with some high level of uh, success. High probability, at least. Oh. Oh! oh a fatal move! As I maneuver into position. You're finished. See if I incur penalties. Seize and loot. Imprison or cut down any that remain. What's in the hold? Okay, you now have one that are watching you, so it does improve suspicion. You've won no favor. Take whatever you can. The cash includes two supplies. I'd say that's probably not worth it. But if they attack me and I have to finish them off, then you might as well get your supplies. Alright, three fuel. Oh, I'm heading to the Mount Palmerston, so buy one crate of human souls. Yes. And I would like to get this just right. It's probably one, two, three, four, five, so eight. Ledger? No. Gazette. Alright. Five, six, seven, eight. 
We'll go one more to be safe. Um, let's not buy a mirror catch box. Because we don't have anywhere we can sell one. That we know of yet. Go so, tun 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 tun. Then boom boom. Boom, then follow this. Oh, actually, I've already been to Gators Morn, so never mind. So we just go kind of a basic route back. Oh, I discovered the Trimnos Trimorans of the Kane. I didn't see where that was. Hundred and sixty sixty one away. Yeah, we can't really easily do port reports up here until our stats are high. So this might be a little bit of a waste if I don't get something out of it. Enter the quarter to buy stuff. Which I can do whenever. 15 for fuel. Not horrendous. Oh, you can only buy. But you can buy romantic literature. I would like to buy a couple to see if there's anything I can make with that. We can wander. Spend our stuff. Modest challenge, establish a spy, seek intelligence. Need better veils. Do any of this stuff. But I believe we can wander potentially safely. Quiet street. That's all for now. So we didn't get any... Ba oh, wait. Oh. A candlelit shop. A quiet street washed with a serpent green light from bulbs overhead. The houses here are dark, empty-seeming. Paint peels and bats chitter. A single shop, however, is open. Its windows glow with candlelight. The shopkeeper is a tall woman with pale eyes. Not a local, but not a Londoner either. She blows the dust off a bizarre box and smiles toothily at you. Purchase a pot of violent ink... Purchase a watchful curio. <gasps> I think... Oh, that, that's no longer in the store back home. I'm not sure. Long box for 77. Brass-backed mirror. This, I believe, is on the way. Let's do it. I think it's best we just get out of here. Do a quick trick to quick trip to the palaces of the Khan. Khan's heart, Khan's something. Khan's glory. Can cruise past that's a bad idea since we don't even have anything ready to go so that's just whatever got seven so we're looking good to go It's going to give us anything before we get there. Nope. So 
get our port report and get out of there. And that looks like the well, the beacon or that the buoy is giving us a good angle already. I don't just totally collide. I think. Hoping to bounce off it. So I can avoid some of this ash storm, that would be nice. Doesn't seem I should try. Brimstone wind. I can go down here. And just pull up at the end. Oh, very nice. Shall we? I've got a crate of souls for you. And see her your soul. No, I've got you a crate of souls. The devilist lifts the lid of the crate. The light from the souls within illuminates her face. She stares at them for a long moment, and then tears begin to roll silently down her face. Thank you, she says. I've missed them so. One of her tears lands on the wood of the crate, which begins to smoke. Let me tell you something very special. She whispers it in your ear. Her breath smells like hot stone, but you should go now. Thank you. Come back soon. Ah, oh, one secret. Her crate of human souls. Very worth it. Chat to the pork photo about the Brimstone Convention. Got our port report. Engage an officer. We need a lot. I'm back after answering the door. I uh, picked up a little bit of fuel. Otherwise, we shall continue on our way. Which is... I guess straight down, because I think I... Yeah, right, the loop's from there, so that should be good to go. Could have maximized my... Terrore. Quite a bit in the hold. I would have liked to buy way more fuel. That great price. I'm trying to think, where would the Zeist soup go? Is it the funging station? Or what? And the coffee. Might be able to check my journal and see if it has the answers if I don't run into it. Ah, though I don't think this is a great location to do shore leave. Nor is Polythreme. Polythyreme. Though if I save it, I I'll get to, so I might as well use it. My port report. Great. No hunting trophy. Or anything else exciting. Yeah, let's let's do something a little different. Get that exploration in. Got that discovery. 100. Oh. Severe. Oh, oh, they're not. Didn't chase. Oh, they are now. Let's dip my head in. Wee. I'll just fully go around it. There we 
go. It's the little box up there, but I think it might just be open ocean. Shall gather intelligence. And do I have space? Five. Six units. I need to get rid of something. None of that's really worth getting rid of, I don't think. I could dump a claim in. Get rid of a candle. Oh, and is there other stuff I can do here? I can do shore leave, which I can do unlimited shore leave. Interesting. So I'll just keep going down, I feel. Or do I want to hit? I don't have the space. Yeah, if we can get rid of this stupid guy in there. Among other things. Just return home in one piece so we get our repairs and be ready to set sail again soon. Go for an eel fight though. As even though we take damage, be getting something nice for ourselves. I hear one. Oh, it's coming out of nowhere. You may fire when ready. Always out of range for number one. Strike soon. He's getting angry. Take a chance. I ah, got him. Too uh, risky. Now we've got. Oh, I gotta dump stuff probably. Uh, we can take the hunger. Cask of mushroom rind. And we're able to fit it too. Drop him off for a little payout. Uh, I could attempt it, maybe. Let's gather our intelligence. And this one is actually pretty dangerous. But why not explore? Hope we don't run to a tiger. You were fortunate against Tale of Terror. Yeah, so I need to be way more prepared. I should be taking those kind of risks. Can I make it somewhere cheap? With eight. Perhaps. Okay. Let's just do that. might have to use that final uh, lighthouse ship but that's not anything horrible and is there I've got the crate of souls so I should be good I think Oh, big turn. 
to the south, where we will go to Pigmoat Island and see what's going on there. We're really not much because we just kind of need our stats to be way better. Ah, a stowaway! The quartermaster has been complaining of food going missing of late, and now you know why. The monkey foundling sits smiling innocent behind a crate, mouth surrounded by fresh crumbs and in a bed of wait, your stolen clothes. Yeah, you seemed fun, she says. She desperately wants to explore the Z with you. Z is no place for a child, or let her stay. Let her do odd jobs. This could give us a new quest. This just kind of ends it, so let's go for it. Let her stay. She can earn her keep doing odd jobs for now. Your treasures need polishing. Your mug needs filling. In time, maybe you can make an, an officer out of her. Monkey Foundling hugs you tight and asks, eyes sparkling, where you keep the weapons. You have Monkey Foundling. Uh, explore the Empress Qualities 999. Okay. So let's file another port report. Great. Yeah. Raise people's island civilization for better prices. Okay. Certainly not happening overnight. Oh, we have a long box. So going there would be very nice for us. Hopefully it gets us money. <laughs> we don't have to worry about cargo space too much. Just make a little turn. And your time is over. Food. Let's take the Z story. Wait, discovered a jelly floor from the snares? Huh. I don't get why we got... Maybe that was just part of the fragments for dispersing it. Search for other signs. 49% based on mirrors. This one is either way. Let's go this first. No evidence. Failed. We tried. Let's live in the lung box. We'll need a lung box to enter station 3 and explore further. There are no steep doors, however, and no wagons waiting to help with the heavy cargo. There is only a sign which reads deliveries, and a painted hand which points innocently up a rock-cut staircase. Make a delivery. There is cargo in the hold marked for this destination. A long, low, heavy box. It'll be fun getting up the stairs, no doubt. There's a great deal of grumbling from the crew. The stairs are sharp-edged and wet. The box is heavy, and it, its contents inclined to shift. After a few slips and a bad bruise to the shin, you resort to placing crew members along the stairs and handing the box along. There is a warehouse at the top, of the stairs, but it is not apparently your destination. Another sign points along the narrow path towards the building with the spire deliveries exclamation point. It says more aggressively this time. Someone in the spired building is singing. The song sets your teeth on edge. So we can break into the warehouse and leave the box. That works. We can carry the box on the building with the spire. Going the extra distance might mean you can charge more for your efforts. 97% chance. Send ahead for the building for extra hands. Let's go for it. Going the extra distance. The path is slippery and lined with mushrooms. You and the crew have to stop seven or eight times to set down boxes and blow on your hands. 
The closer you get, the less the building with the spire looks like a church. The walls soot blackened and made of brick. There are no windows, only narrow vents up near the roof. From those low, these low singing can be heard. A song so cheerful that your crew look at one another and frown. It is the song of someone keeping the monsters at bay. At last you are close enough to bang on the door. The austere acolyte answers it. She is dressed in black from head to foot. Her gloves are thick leather and her goggles are double glass. Leave the boxes at the door, she says to you, and then she turns back toward the building, singing her song. Something about candied kittens and flaming violets and the coming of spring. Judging by the rhyme, she's inventing the words as she goes along. You stop her and explain that you expect your extra work to be rewarded. She makes a grudging gesture, but complies. Success, and we got 100 fragments. You now have earning the acolyte's favor. Is your acolyte directs the arrangement of the long box in the room under the steeple. There are many other boxes there already, stacked in rows, three or four times as many as you have brought. In another corner of the room is a pile of wood from the previous boxes already emptied and dismantled. Singing to herself about a mountain upholstered in velvet, she takes a crowbar to the box. The corpse inside is permanently dead, in a way that the dead of London often are not. Not a drowny, not a tomb colonist, but not coming back either. It looks pale and ordinary, except for the slight this tension of the skin over the breastbone. Gently the acolyte presses there and nods, singing about tulips embroidered with yellow floss. She lifts the box in onto a marble slab. Without pause in her lyrics, she prepares a scalpel. Your presence does not seem to bother her. Watch, don't watch, watch with medical interest? We should try. Metal in metal. The austere acolyte extracts deftly and with little blood a heart-sized sphere of silver-gray metal. Despite your keenest observation, you cannot work out how the sphere grew there or what it was for. With a giant nutcracker, she cracks the sphere and another sphere inside that and another. Finally, in the center, she comes to something heavy, small, and black. She lifts it out with tongs and looks it, at it through her goggles. The song falters, but she manages to keep humming, though the words are lost. She puts the black and heavy thing into a jar marked with the word of the correspondence. She closes the jar and seals it with red wax. Finally, when the corpse is removed again and the marble slab wiped clean, she comes to pay you. Thank you, she says. Return another day, and I may have something else for you. So we failed, but we gained a secret. We have three. We've got to spend those. We've gained even more favor. And we don't have any more lung boxes inside the little gate. Can't deliver. We can return later. Or exchange a lung box for a heart metal ingot. What would you use that for? But then, what uses a lung box? Shops. Let's get out of here. So we we, we know. Oh, actually, we got to do an import, I believe. Right? Or spend secret improve your iron. Less it's higher than the ship. Must be in good shape to sustain the impact of the cannoneers. Okay, that is fine. So we basically need like one more. Let's bump it up again. Got two. And then, uh, we will continue with the veils. Or actually, mirrors. Yes, the mirrors. Very good. Yeah, so that'll hopefully 100% us click on that challenge. And the mirrors continue to grow. And we do have a strange catch, so we can use that at the Abbey to get some reduction on terror. Which will be certainly be useful. Point. Offer a gift, reduce terror, well worth it, and a member of distant shores. Just one. I'd rather use it at the other place. Ah, do I got four 
go. I'd have to buy it. I forget which one has the quarantine. So we'll just head home. Don't. I guess maybe I didn't have recent news. Or not recent for them, at least. Ah, hand over the cargo. Oh, very good, very good. Please accept this small token as a thanks. Just being a person of honor understands the true nature of dealing is much more important. This one is always good. But this is the same as before. 200 echoes, it's not that great. Three fuels, nice. And cargo for the chairman quality is gone. Wonderful. Wait. Oh, the man is waiting is not just a cultist. We can deliver the trinkets to this guy, which was the spider eggs, I believe. Got 100 echoes for the spider eggs. Very cool. And, oh yeah, we didn't have it at port, so the Dock Master had nothing new and exciting for us. Oh, we we'll lose favor for moves in the great game. Get a few more echoes for it. That's all she's got for us. Let's go to London, deliver the claim in. They're just a liability. Cruise, hire more crew. Let's do it. We have succeeded and gained the two crew. Got the hold. We got Z soup, romantic literature. Seventy. It's the best we can do with these, I feel. That might be able to go to him. That I'm holding on to. Six, okay. Very good, next level. Outlandish artifact. Oh, an intriguing snippet. Very cool. This guy gained a secret in that process, too. Oh, I have another intriguing snippet. Very good. That was very productive. A romantic literature. Can I not sell that? Exchange. Oh, approved. Where do I sell unapproved? See where's the the is the rose market not a thing? Advice for captains. Hmm. Let's sell the ivory for space. Have to kind of hold into those. So that's okay. This. Hmm. In London, custom studios paid on those stories, even illustrated. I don't know what I do with it. You don't do anything. 
You don't have an interest, do you? In particular, uh, the Shellanates. Okay. So let's get our assistance at the docks. The Admiralty Yards. So now we're 100%. Check the Adderville and let's get those port reports filed. Very good. Hold. 100% hold? Wow. That worked out almost perfectly. I could just leave it like that. Menaces. Find the bones, retrieve strategic, loads, sphinx stone. Stats. More of them. Hunting trophies, pieces of shintelac. Yeah, I guess we're kind of, uh, not sure where to go next, but I do know we have 2,600 and we don't have to spend anything on fuel at the moment. Went up pretty well stocked after that one. So we can take a look at our options. Oh, we don't have the room, but I mean, we could go for the big... Menticore number four is 1500. We had the base one at 800, so at least 1600 would be good. I actually want to get this guy. Or actually, what's the cheapest one that does not limit your ability to hide? So this might be one to go with. Course the five thousand for making that kind of echo won't really matter. Two K is a lot to spend. And was it fifteen or something for the the good frigate? The frigate's thirteen. That will be some time. It's got the whole nine yards the aft as well. Okay, so first we've got to let's let's ditch a, a candle. Good. Now we can go to this guy, and we can get the Manticore number four, two K. We can sell the elderly steeple engine for ten. This slots in. We should be quite a quick vessel. And now it's just a matter of where do we think we need to go. I mean, Empire of Hands, we need to just deliver mass material, so that's kind of... We need a, a different ship to do that. We don't have the supplies to deal with this. Ugh. I'm almost like I kind of want to discover whatever's in the empty spot. Possibly, so maybe like a this route. So, you know, come on down. Probably, oh, we want want this route back. So kind of, same thing there. So bam, here, here, see how we're feeling on fuel, whether we want to bother with this or not. 
and kind of get over here. Get kind of oh Varchus, so we could do utter shroom down. Okay, we'll kind of we'll play it by ear, but otherwise, that's it for this episode. So catch y'all then.